It's common to feel some anxiety in social situations from time to time. But when this anxiety causes distress and disrupts how someone functions in life, it is called social anxiety disorder. It is considered a disorder when it feels intense, happens frequently, causes distress, and negatively affects things like work and school, relationships, hobbies, or day-to-day -day activities. Social anxiety disorder is one of the most common anxiety disorders, with 8 to 12 percent of people being diagnosed at some point in their lives. Research suggests that both genetics and environment can play a role in the development of social anxiety problems. It tends to run in families and life experiences, such as being teased or bullied, can contribute. Social anxiety problems can develop slowly over time. They often begin in elementary school or early adolescence after a particularly embarrassing or stressful event. Anyone can have problems with social anxiety. When faced with feared social situations, people with social anxiety often experience negative thoughts about themselves. They may feel anxious, shame or embarrassment, sweat, blush, tremble or feel nauseous. They may use safety behaviors such as avoiding eye contact and saying very little in an effort to feel less anxious in social situations they may begin to avoid social situations altogether. Cognitive Behavior Therapy, or CBT, is the gold standard non-pharmacological treatment for social anxiety disorder. It involves learning new ways of thinking, cognition, and acting, behavior. A typical course of CBT is 12 to 20 one-hour sessions. It can take weeks or months to notice changes, but a psychologist with expertise in CBT can help reduce anxiety and help people to face excessive fears. Working with a psychologist has been shown to be effective for most people with social anxiety disorder. Learn more about social anxiety disorder by visiting cpa.ca slash psychology fact sheets. To find a registered psychologist near you, visit 